Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had a purpose to create Adam alayhi salam. It's important for us to know this purpose and aim. Let us spend a few moments how he created Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. The Quran uses several words. It uses the word turab. It uses the word teen. It uses the word salsal. It uses the word hama im masnoon. What are these words? One is dust. One is soil. One is clay. And one is the dark clay. So why all these words are used for the same creation? Because it is depicting different stages in the creation of man. Let us move further. Amazingly and interestingly, Allah took dust from the earth. And that dust was taken from different parts of the earth. And you and I know that the soil on the earth is different colors. You have red, you have slightly lighter color, you have a darker color, you have different shades of brown and so on. So there were different shades and different colors. And he took these from different parts of the globe, from the valleys, from the mountain tops, from the sandy regions, from the rocky regions and so on. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it all together. This is why in mankind, nowadays we use the, we use the word genes, not referring to those hipsters that people wear. No, the genes within man. What, what do we understand? If it is in your genes, if something is in your genes, there is a likelihood that it will be passed on to your children. Hereditary. So Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was created from different types, different colors and different qualities. So from his progeny, there are different colors. And there are people who are easy to get along with. People who are very difficult to get along with. People who are hardcore, strong, powerful. And people who are weaklings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the middle path. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst the best. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of them so differently. And this is why we have different colors. And this is why we have different shades, different attitudes and different characteristics and characters. We ask Allah to grant us the best of all. And we ask Allah to open the doors for us and our offspring. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on us at all times. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then speaks about how he created this man. Do you know that the narrations make mention of the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first had this dust and then he added water to it, it became soil and then he shaped it up, it became clay and he left it. He left it for a while. And then he speaks about the word used in the Quran is Kal-Fakhar. Al-Fakhar meaning the pottery, the clay of pottery. Why does he say similar to the clay of pottery but not exactly the clay of pottery? Because for the clay of pottery, heat is used. For man, no heat was used. Subhanallah. No heat was used. So if Allah said the clay of pottery, it would mean heat was used. But he says similar to that clay of pottery because there is one thing missing. Allahu Akbar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereafter, he left man. Now what was the size of Adam alayhi salatu was salam? Very interestingly, the narration says, Situna dhira'an, 60 feet. Now what is a foot? A foot, one would say, is about roughly from your elbow to the top or to the wrist and so on. So one might say roughly 30 centimeters. However, maybe the feet at that time might have been one meter. So he was either 60 meters or he was either, if we were to calculate it with today's feet, 18 meters. Either way, he was huge. Just imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And the hadith says, خَلَقَ اللَّهُ آدَمَ عَلَى صُورَتِهِ Allah created Adam upon his image. Now what is meant by this? Ask the Christians, they'll give you a totally wrong answer. They'll tell you it means man was created on the image of God. Astaghfirullah, that is wrong. It is simple to understand. When me and you were born, how were we created? A little seed began to multiply. And thereafter, the form was given slowly but surely. But with Adam alayhi salam, it was different. Allah created him on his image from day one, which means he was already big. He already had size. He already had eyes. That is the meaning of creation in his image, not the image of Allah. But Adam was created in the image of Adam wholly in those meters. He was already an adult when he was created. So this is the meaning of it. We must never be confused and think that, you know, they say Jesus came in the form of God. Astaghfirullah, that is totally wrong. It's a mistake. According to us, we cannot discuss that matter with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we would need to see him and none of us have. So it, when it comes to Adam alayhi salatu was salam, Allah left him. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began or he, he blew the ruh or the soul into Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And where did it start from? 
Very interestingly, it started from the top, from the head. So the most honored, the most honored organ that we have is the brain. That is what distinguishes us from the rest of creatures. We have a brain. Allah gave it life first before everything else. Then as the soul came, meaning as the life began to come, everything was turning into flesh and blood, flesh and blood from soil. It was becoming flesh and blood and the brain came alive. Then the eyes came alive and Adam alayhi salatu was salam suddenly opened his eyes. Mashallah. Imagine what must have happened. An adult opening his eyes, granted full knowledge. Allah says in the Quran, we taught Adam alayhi salam the names of everything. So we brought everything that was in creation and we told him this is a tree, this is a stone, this is a mountain, so on. So he was already taught. He was not like us when you're born and then you slowly learn and you learn to say Allah and then you learn to say something else and then you learn to say daddy and mommy. No, it was not like that with Adam alayhi salatu was salam. He already knew the words and the names of everything. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about that in the Quran. So as his eyes opened, he saw the fruits of Jannah. He was in Jannah. He was in a place that we don't know. We haven't been in yet. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us paradise. So when his eyes opened, he was so happy. He's seen all these fruits and so on. He already understood what it was. And what happened as the soul was blown and it was the life came into his nose and his mouth he sneezed he sneezed so sneezing is a sign of goodness it is a gift of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which protects you from illness that is a sneeze so one narration says the angel said oh adam thank allah so adam alayhi salatu wa salam says alhamdulillah he says, Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah. This is where we get it from. All praise, when you sneeze, you should utter all praise is due to Allah. So the narration makes mention of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to him that Allah has had mercy on you, O Adam. Hence, what happens? When we hear, when we sneeze, we say Alhamdulillah. If we hear someone say Alhamdulillah, we should say, Yarhamukallah. We should say, Allah has definitely had mercy on you. That is the beauty and this is where it started and this is where it came from. So as life came into his hands, he stretched out to get what? Amazing, amazing. He stretched out to get what? What he was seeing. He was seeing the fruits of Jannah. So he's stretching out, but life had not yet come onto his, his legs. So he couldn't get there. And this is why the Quran says, And in another place Allah says, Man was always in a rush, always making haste. Look at us. How do we treat life? Life is like this much, so to speak, from this point to that point. And we try to get as much as we can between this point and that point. And we want to fill it as much money, as much knowledge, as much this, as much that. Let us hope that we as Muslimin can get as much taraweeh into there and as much Quran into there and as much sacrifice into there and as much obedience of Allah into there so that by the time we get to the other point we can be granted entry into Jannah. May Allah open our doors.